Hello. So what we're going to do today is we're going to look at how to make an NPC automatically talk to you when you enter a certain place, a certain trigger that we're going to draw. And this works in both Fallout 3 and New Vegas Gex, but I'm just doing it in this one, just because I prefer this Gex. So, first thing you're going to want to do is make an NPC and make some dialogue for him. Now, I've already done that off camera, and you can just check out my tutorials for those if you don't know how to do that already. So first up, we're going to open up the NPC we've made. And we're going to make him some packages. So this is going to be the one that gets him to talk to you. So all he's going to do is just stand completely still and then talk to you when, a cer when certain conditions are met. So you want to go into a specific reference, and then the reference down here, change that to player. Just make the activate distance anything, make it 600, that's not really important for the method we're using. So if we have start wait location, near edited location, and zero will make him basically completely stand still which is what we're going to have him do. So we're going to hit OK and we're going to make a new package which will be a sandbox package. And again you can call these anything you want as long as they're unique. So we'll go for near editor location 300. OK. OK. I'm just going to save my plugin. I'm just going to call it auto talk. And so now we're going to want to write a script. So we're going to click the pencil, script, new. We're going to give it a name, SCN auto quest script and we're going to be declaring a variable now like we have done in my previous tutorials so all you have to do is write short and then call it whatever you like but really your best bet is to make sure it's something that makes sense so we're going to call ours talking and save it as a quest script and save now we're going to write a new script which is going to be scn auto trigger script that doesn't say script it doesn't matter um, so we're going to write begin on trigger enter player. So what that means is the script will begin when the player enters the trigger. Then we're going to do nothing because I haven't realized I made a mistake. So we go to quest and the quest that you've made to be the dialogue. And then select auto quest script. So you'll see that I've already set up a dialogue with a greeting says hi. You can do, set up as long a dialogue tree as you like. And make sure you've put on that script that we wrote, this one and hit OK. So now we're going to want to do set auto talk quest dot talking to 1. Like that. Simple. Remember, wherever in auto talk quest, that's the editor ID of my quest, so you can see up here, and talking is the name of a variable we created before. So end. Hold on. Something else we might want to do. If you only want this to run once, I suggest you do you write this short triggered. Like that. And then what we're going to do is write if in brackets triggered equals zero, which it always will at the start because they work the default to zero. Set auto talk quest dot talking to one and set um, triggered to 1. Ah. So what that will do is, when you enter it, the first time you enter, it will... you want to type end if first, well. First time you enter, it will set auto talk to 1, and then it'll set triggered to 1, so it won't ever run again, so you'll only end, it'll only happen when you enter the first time. Ah. So that essentially that script will only run once, so the auto-talking will only happen once, which is particularly useful because usually when you have an NPC auto-talk to you, you don't want him to keep on and on and on and on auto-talking to you all the time. So I'll tell you what we'll just quickly do, go into Topics and type in the result script set um, auto-talk auto quest dot talking to two. So by doing that you just make sure that it, he doesn't keep on and on and on talking to you when you exit the dialogue. Because all make sure that you set you can do that in any of the result scripts, but you're best doing it in a goodbye one because I well, I've only got one topic so I'm just putting it in there. So that just means that he won't keep because I once made an auto talk NPC where every time you, 
you exited dialogue, he would instantly talk to you again. So you have to make sure you do that. So what we've done is we've got is a world space, wasteland, spring mail. Hit yes to all. I hope you can all follow this because I found I tend to go very back and forth here in my tutorials, just sticking things in as I remember. I have no plan whatsoever when I do these. So now we're going to find our NPC. Click and drag him into the world. Hit F so he drops to the ground. And place him wherever you want. Like, like, I can't get him to. That's better. Oh my god. I want him to face. Well, there we go. And so now what we're going to do is click on this T here and we're drawing a trigger. You can draw this anywhere you want, but that's where I'm going to do it. Ch check new. And we're going to call it auto, talk, trigger. Call it anything you want as long as it's unique. Get rid of that. And we're going to find the auto trigger script that we wrote. This one. And hit OK. So now, when you enter this, it will set talking to one. Alright, so what we're going to do now, that's all very good, but that won't do anything until we condition his packages. So we're going to go back into packages. So this is a lot like my companion tutorial, in a way. So we're going to write get, we want to go to get quest variable. It should now say invalid unknown. So we're going to want to find auto talk quest talking equals one. So now copy that condition and hit OK and go into conditions in your sandbox package and paste conditions double click and go to 2 so what that does now is when it's number 1 he will start talking to you and so entering that trigger sets it to number 1 and then when the dialogue is over it will set it to number 2 which will make him sandbox and you could still just go up and talk to him as you, as you please so your best bet is to you know set up a a dialogue, a long, nice long dialogue. I mean you can do whatever you want with it, really. But once you understand you know qu uh, variables and conditioning and everything, you can pretty much do anything with it all. So I think that's about it. If it doesn't work for some reason, let me know because I might have made a mistake. Because I said I don't plan these tutorials, just do it as I you know as I think. So I might have missed something out, made a mistake, or if I wasn't clear of anything or anything, you can ask. And you can if you want if there's anything you want help with, send me a request and I will I will help if I know how to do it. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial, so thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing for more in the future. Um thank you 